When we load an instrument into the multi-rack, as we have seen, the instrument is said to be in performance view, as opposed to edit mode. We may toggle edit mode by clicking on the wrench icon in the upper left hand side of the instrument header. Notice how whether the instrument is in performance view or edit mode, the instrument header remains unchanged. We are going to leave edit mode alone for now, so let's toggle back to performance view and discuss the role of the instrument header. Our first piece of info is our instrument name. The default name for this instrument is Grand Piano, but this can be easily changed by clicking in the text field and typing in a new name. If you would like to scroll through related instruments in the same contact subfolder, you can click the left and right arrows to scroll through instruments. This can only be accomplished if the name of the instrument remains unchanged, however. Each instrument has its own output assignment, which can be set here. Its own MIDI channel assignment, which can be set here. Then to the right of these tabs are our Voices tab, which shows you how many voices are being played at once as you play your MIDI keyboard. Directly to the right of that is our max number of voices, which can be modified however you like by clicking on the number and dragging it up or down depending on how many voices you would like to be able to trigger at once. If you play more notes than the max number of voices, then some notes will not sound. Underneath these tabs is our memory, which displays how much memory the instrument is taking up in your system. The maximum memory of your multi-rack can be found next to the toolbar at the top of the screen. If an instrument is taking up too much memory, then the purge function really comes in handy. If you click Purge, Purge All Samples, we clear our instrument of all its memory. This does not delete any samples from our folders, just this incidence of our instrument. We'll see a red status bar which indicates that the instrument has been purged of all samples. If we play some notes on our keyboard, we can then choose specific notes that we want to add back to the instrument. This keeps Contacts Engine lean when you are working with very large files. We can also reload all samples to revert to the original sample pool. In order to not tax your system too much, it's wise to reset markers, Choose which samples you will be using by playing them on your MIDI keyboard. And updating the sample pool. Now we see a yellow light which means that there are a limited number of samples in the instrument. To the right of the purge tab are your standard solo and mute buttons which do exactly that as well as our tune knob which will change the tuning of your instrument in half steps. Though you can get very specific by clicking shift command and dragging on the knob. We have our pan and volume sliders as well as our level meters. Then we have Close, Minimize, and Aux buttons. Aux makes a row of Aux sends appear. We'll get into this function in an upcoming video. That's the instrument header. Please complete the following assignment before moving on.